Hi, everyone. Welcome to our session for upgrading your building and facilities management processes. In this session, you will learn how to use Smartsheet to effectively integrate people, places, processes, and technology. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them into the chat. We have our Smartsheet team standing by and ready to help. We have our legal side here. Trademarks are not endorsements and this session contains forward-looking statements. I'm Tony Lingle and I've been with Smartsheet for about three and a half years and I primarily focus on government accounts. Every day I get to hear inspiring stories of how you are using Smartsheet to support your agency and your communities. One of the customers I've had the pleasure of working with the last few years is the city of Portland. One of the teams I was incredibly impressed by was the facilities, services, operations, and maintenance team. In just a few short months, they had a facilities management solution up and running in Smartsheet and everyone trained on how to use it. And guess what? They're here today to share their story of how they did it. Please welcome Miranda Sandy from the city of Portland. Hello, thank you, Tanya. My name is Miranda Sandy. Um, my department started using Smartsheets in 2018. I work with the facilities division at the city of Portland, primarily doing um, facilities program management and contract management. This is where we started. Our facilities dispatch team primarily used a program from Y2K to create and track work orders. It was called Facility Center Enterprise and you can see a screenshot of it here. Work order requests were received by email, by phone and by in-person walk-ups. The work order would be sent to our maintenance team who would complete the work via Facility Center. An email with the status of the work order, created, in progress, completed, would be sent to the person who made the request just as long as they had a profile in Facility Center at that time. If they didn't, dispatch would have to pause everything they were doing to create a profile for them. However, Facility Center alone could not support notifying more than one person nor did it provide any information beyond those three statuses. Follow-up on any solutions or challenges that might hold up work was entirely reliant on dispatch's availability in the midst of everything else they were doing. When I began working with facilities, management was constructing a response to a customer survey that highlighted the need to provide more thorough communication offer more transparency in our process and provide accountability to our customers and to our coworkers. Enter Smartsheet. We were lucky enough to have a city bureau already using Smartsheet. We talked to them and got a sense of how easy it was to build impactful solutions. So we purchased a few licenses. Our first assignment was to revamp maintenance intake. The first step was to map the workflow. Luckily, this work had already been done during a process, business process mapping project in a couple of years prior. We, will, we were able to take those maps and pull out the data points that we needed to collect and figure out who needed to know what in the creation and completion of a work order. Following that process, we constructed our sheet and intake form. We worked with a group of stakeholders that included people from our maintenance team, dispatch team, and customers to ensure that we were meeting our communication and transparency goals. These meetings helped us build our automations, notifications, approval workflows, and an update request sent out as a customer survey once the work order had been completed. Customers would be able to give us feedback on their experience with specific issues using a unique ticket number for reference that was auto-generated by a system column in the Smartsheet grid. 
And even with the standard resistance to change that exists in any organization, we were able to launch our new maintenance intake system within three months of starting with Smartsheet. We created a step-by-step -step guide and trained our customers in a Skype session that we recorded and posted for future reference. And we were up and running. This development process and the ones that have followed have provided us with a variety of resources. We have our maintenance intake sheet, of course, a standard smart sheet grid. We have the premium app dynamic view, which you'll see up in the top right hand corner. This dynamic view pulls from a report that sources every intake sheet we have and archive sheet. And facility coordinators who visit this dynamic view are able to see their complete history of tickets that they have submitted over time. We also have a contract tracking, which is the large picture on the bottom. I use cross sheet formulas to build sheets that tracked contract terms work order numbers, when the work order was closed, when we were invoiced, the amount of the invoice, and if the invoice matches the contract. We also developed the facility service catalog, which is in the top left. It's a dashboard. At the top of the dashboard is a widget for another dynamic view. This dynamic view pulls from a report of all our facilities contacts. When a facility coordinator views the dashboard, they have the opportunity to review and update their contact information. Below that widget, there are multiple buttons that will take them to our various intake forms. Through the use and distribution of these resources, we have shown our customers what is possible with Smartsheet. I have had the pleasure of responding to requests for Smartsheet training from several other bureaus. In fact, the positive response to the myriad applications of Smartsheet has led the city of Portland to purchasing an enterprise license and supporting Smartsheet citywide. So, in the journey from where we began to where we are now, what did we learn? We learned that you must have a workflow before you can have a smart sheet. Our results have been very effective, but we could not have achieved these things without knowing what needs we were trying to fill. And we can't know what needs we are trying to fill without understanding our workflow. We learned the power of being able to attend sessions like this to expand our understanding of smart sheet. I was able to attend, engage, and bring back lessons that I still use. Index and match is a magical thing. We definitely learned the value of the Learning Center resources. My team invested in development time with Tanya, and we are very happy we did so. And we also made use of the many videos and tutorials available on the Smartsheet site. As we were first learning about Smartsheet, and as we continue to train people in our, in our department, and outside of it. We learned how much cross-sheet formulas can lift in keeping data standard across several sheets, ensuring that we only have to update complex contract information in one place. And we learned about the community. Whenever we weren't blowing up Tanya's email with questions, we were combing the community for answers. Not only were there smart sheets smart sheet experts on there answering questions that we had, but it was also very encouraging to know that we weren't the only ones who had those questions. It made starting up with smart sheet that much easier. Well, thank you so much, Miranda, for sharing your insight of how you got this process up and running in Smartsheet, as well as how you enabled all of your end users and trained them and ensured their success. I think one of my favorite parts of the solution that you've built is how you also uh, put in a survey methodology so that as you continue to use Smartsheet and things change, you're able to get feedback from your customers so that you can continually improve and modify your current process in Smartsheet. If you wanna hear more stories like Miranda's, please attend our other public sector sessions or 
If you want to share your story, please go to our government community page and do so. Additionally, if you want to learn more about premium apps, such as Dynamic View, as Miranda described in her presentation, or how you can leverage cross sheet formulas to improve your current process, please go to our Learning Center. Thank you.